Hey all, what, welcome to Plant Therapy. <laughs> this is Mona. And today I am unboxing a package I just received from Florida. I believe this is one of my wish list plants. It's been a while. I've been wanting this one for a while. Oh, great. <laughs> Just spent the morning cleaning and really don't want to start making messes all over again, but I'm going to try to get this out. Got all the peanuts coming out with it. Okay. All right. This has been on my wish list for a while. I'm glad they gave me a little steak. It's like I might be needing that. <sighs> scared to look. It's the Hoya. And I ordered this one. I'll put the name of the, the seller on the screen because I don't know off the top of my head. And it's my first time from getting something from this seller. This on Etsy, I believe. Yeah, I think it was on Etsy that I saw this. This is another peanut. <laughs> I was just down in my basement cleaning this morning and breaking down all these boxes from deliveries. More peanuts. Hold on a second. Let me dump them. Oh, I'm cute. Okay. Sorry, I had to take a peek. Prepare myself. <laughs> this came from, uh, like I said, Florida. I live in Maryland. For those of you who don't know, and if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps me build this channel. Um, and please return if you like what you see. <laughs> She's adorable. This is my new Callista Phyla. My only Callista Phyla. I've never had one. And I love, 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 love this one. It's beautiful. Isn't she cute? Yeah, well, I just wanted to share this with you as I open this box. I see some sphagnum moss up top. So, yeah, I'll definitely put the name of the seller on the screen. This is looking good. Very healthy looking. And I'll give her a trellis, try to train her on a trellis, I think. Very pretty. So my new Calista Phyla. Happy camper. Now, I wanted to show you guys something else. So let me just uh, take the camera off this stand and take you over to my prop box. I want you to see what I saw this morning. It's beautiful. Everything's coming along nicely. So let's go over there. Okay, guys. So here we are in my famous little prop box. <laughs> okay. So the ones that probably are taking over here <laughs> caught your eye right off the bat. My two little Regal Shield babies are really putting on some growth. This one, I just watered her. She's looking a little limp, but hopefully she'll be fine. And they're in stratum and rooting really well in there. I'm going to keep them in there for a while. I do take these two out because I feel like they're going to start getting too big and crowding the light from the other guys in here. So I've been taking them out giving them a little air, putting them back in at night because it's been kind of chilly. So let's see what else we got here. Look at the Lacanosa mint. I want to point out this one. Look at that. See that tiny little leaf? 
Good sign. There's roots and stuff, some aerial roots. Um, some of those little cuttings were like going every which way, but I'm not worried. Once they get rooted and start making babies, I think it'll be fine. And then look here, there's some growth coming. Can you see that? There's, I don't want to block the light, sorry. Let me move this guy over. Okay, you can see it now. There's about four corms in there from my Alocasia Bambino. And look at this one next to it. There's a leaf and something right under it is coming. And then this one too. Remember, I don't know if you watched and if you didn't, then I'll try to link it at the end. The video where I transitioned the mama plant into, I believe it was pond. And when I was unpotting her, I had like quite a few corms, a lot of corms from the Bambino, which I tend to like that plant. Definitely recommend the Alocasia Bambino. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, here we go. Look at this. I'm going to be gentle. My Polynora. She gave me twins. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> So this is the original plant that I got from Lex from Plant Life Lex. It was a little seedling and I had taken the cuttings because I want it to be kind of full eventually. I'm going to put them back into this pot here. But look at this. New leaf. Look at that. Looking good, right? Responding already. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's see here. The Lacanosa mint cuttings, the other ones that I had put in pond, the others were in fluval, this one was in pond, and I kept the water level pretty high while well, they're rooting in there already because I try to tug on them and see if I can move her out of the light. And they're, they're taking already to the pond, which makes me happy because eventually I think all those cuttings will go together in pond. I really want to see how fast it grows in that medium. And then here, my cute little, do you see this? I think that's a new leaf. My cute little Corniana splash cuttings. And look at all the activity on the stem. See that right there? Something going on down here. So yeah, Croniana is a fast grower. One of my new favorites, Croniana. And the Lacanosas. So I don't know, are they one and the same? I don't know, I won't get into that. But definitely a relative. <laughs> now look at my Black Cherry Princess. Two baby leaves. I was about to give up on this cutting, but thankfully I did not. Now that original leaf looks bad and I'll chop it off because I think these guys are good now. I should be getting more growth. So we'll do that. And here, I really don't know if you can see that here. I'll try to point it out. Now mind you, I'm not very coordinated here because I'm right-handed and I'm using this pencil. See that right there? I'm getting new growth. I'm so excited on the Wilbur Graves. So that was good to see. This was the little seedling that wasn't doing too well. Um, the leaves were real soft. Put it in pond. Within no time, they firmed up. So that's good. And then here, you see the silver dragon alocasia corms are coming. Looking good. So pretty much everything is responding. And now here, I don't know. I thought I'd see see more from uh, the black velvet alocasia corns, corms I put in here in the pond. I'm really tempted to take them out and put them each in um, a little container of uh, stratum. So maybe I'll do that. See if they respond sooner. Because it seems like everything in fluval is taken off so and also i mean i like what pond is all about the good thing about the pond ones that are in pond i won't have to take them out of their 
uh, pots. They're just going to stay there so until they get too big. But yeah, so that's it. Updates are coming along really well here. I'm really happy. Uh, back here, I found quite a few. Look at the color on that. That's going to be pretty. Um, I bought, well, I'll show it to you quickly. This is the Alocasia Begenda. And what I did was transitioned it into LECA. So it's going through the change right now in the process. There's one dead leaf there. I think I had eight leaves. But I'm going to show you all that in one video beginning to end. So you can see how the plan, plant ends up doing in the end. But these are some corms that are found in there. And this will also go into, I'll probably put it in with the original mama plant eventually when they get big enough. Um, okay, we're leaking. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's, that's another video. I'll keep you posted. So guys, if you like this kind of stuff and you enjoy the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. <clears throat> really important that you share these videos if you have some other plant lover friends. And, you know, give me that support so I can build a channel. Things are moving along nicely, and it's been fun. And I, in the future, am going to reach out to you guys and see what you like most from me and what you would like to see in the future. All right, and on that note, give you a little eye candy. Bye guys. Have a great weekend. And I hopefully will be able to post a shopping video maybe before the weekend's over. Okay. Take care now.